Hello, the Thay Fest here. How's it going? Today's video is the brainchild of the evil mastermind, Birdkeeper Toby. A few weeks ago, he came up with this video here, there, wherever it's going to be linked, where he told the world his evil intentions as the leader of a new villainous team. And at the end of that video, he challenged the rest of us to create our own evil organizations. And so here we are. Welcome to the home of Team Cabal. A few other names I considered were Team Liberty, Team Rogue, Team Rapscallion, Team Knave, Team Rascal, Team Ruckus. In the end, I settled for Cabal, meaning a small group of plotters. And soon you'll know why. I'm slightly regretting not calling the team Team Ruckus, but apparently it's also an easy word for non-English speakers to pronounce. And it's worth nine points in Scrabble. So yeah, thanks Station.com. The only real objectives of Team Cabal are to just do whatever they want and kind of just destroy the establishment. Basically, I've just stolen elements from my favourite two teams, Team Skull and Team Rocket. Team Skull basically just because Team Cabal aren't out to destroy the world, they're just kind of out to have fun and, and just kind of do whatever they want. And Team Rocket because, unlike pretty much every other evil team, they aren't trying to use the region's legendary. Without the legendary to up the threat level, why is this team so dangerous? That's because of the boss, me, the former champion of the region. Having become disillusioned and almost driven insane by the position, I've gone out in search of freedom. And in my state of mind, the only way I think I can do this is by destroying the system that's caused me so much trouble. Now I've gone, the only people in the region trying to stop me are the gym leads. But because of my high level as a trainer, they aren't good enough to stop me. I started out alone, however, I slowly recruited people who were as disillusioned with the system as me, or just had nowhere to go. Many joined in search of strength, or just a place to be themselves. With me are my two admins. The first is a male. He's the younger brother of the 8th gym leader, and after living his entire life in his brother's shadow, he decided to lash out and try to find strength, running away from home. The second is a female. She was the leader of a small gang that was out causing havoc around a small town. They attacked me but were crushed, and when the gym leader came to arrest them, I then beat the gym leader and they just kind of fell under my wing. The grunts are mainly just weak trainers and misfits who joined under me to learn from me or joined because they had nowhere else to go. Unlike other organizations, the members don't wear a specific uniform. This makes them incredibly dangerous because they can be anyone and they can be anywhere. However, to distinguish themselves from everyone else, every member wears these special black glasses. This gives them a pretty unique look and allows them to, you know, blend in or stand out in the crowd quickly and easily. You might be talking to them in the crowd and they might be completely normal, but as soon as they put on those glasses, their true colours are revealed. Now a bit of the story. The first encounter with me and my team is when I destroy the third gym. You're about to enter it and it just blows up. You then have to fight some of my grunts. After me and my team have fled, you then fight the gym leader in the rubble of what used to be his gym. I thought this is a pretty impactful way to showcase this new team and just what we are capable of. It quickly becomes clear that no one is capable of stopping me. Well, no one except you that is. After many encounters of, of me and my team randomly causing ruckuses, you finally face me for the first time in the 8th gym. I'm there with my admin about to do something terrible, but luckily you're there to stop me. After beating my mono dark team, which is which is appropriately leveled, minus either a Houndoom or Crawdont, depending on your version of the game, which is at dumb level 67, you beat me and I finally come to my senses. I realise what I've done and all the damage I've caused. This makes me leave and go on a bit of soul searching. And while I'm off trying to find myself, you continue on your journey. You beat the 8th gym leader, you beat the Elite Four, and finally, you make it to the room where the champion should be standing. However, you find it empty, and the professor walks in and tells you that, well, obviously the champion isn't here, he left. But then suddenly, I show up. I stand in the position where the champion should be standing, and I say, Last time, I was weak and misguided, but this time's different. I am the champion, and if you want to take that title from me, you better give me everything you've got. And after beating me for the second time, while I'm using my actual team, which is completely different to the one you already faced, save for the uh, the ace Pokemon that I had before, Houndoom or Crawdont, I feel the weight lifted off my shoulders. And I say, you have truly earned this victory, champion. Now that I'm no longer caballing, I disband the team and everyone goes their separate ways, apart from a few core members who decide to stay with me. Me and this small group of people then decide to dedicate ourselves to protecting the region instead of trying to destroy it. And like in any game, you can always come back and challenge me anytime, but like in the good games, I have a stronger team than before. 
I liked in Gen 1 how the legendary, how the legendaries didn't form a necessary part of the story and they were just kind of there and you could go catch them. However, if they do need to be involved in the story in some way, maybe it's the gym leaders who awaken it, believing it's the only thing that can stop me and they lose control of it. And to save the region from its destructive power, you the player have to catch it. So what do you think? If you have any ideas for evil teams, either make your own video or leave your ideas down in the comments section. Of course, go check out Birdkeeper Toby's video that he did. With that all said, please leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe to join the Reaper Nation today. I definitely don't say this enough, but follow me on social media like Twitter. And of course, Whooper out.